Okay, so now I just spent um, quite a lot of time doing my drawing and I'm going to take off the tracing paper that I use. And when you do your drawing, you don't have to use tracing paper. I find it easier to do. Um, so I'm going to pull that off. You can just use copy paper, the um, eight and a half by 11 copy paper to draw on. So I'm going to pull the drawing back and then take a look at the print. And here it is. And um, I like it. I, I think that it has a lot going on here, which I like. I may do a couple of um, atmospheric marks by putting my finger on the paper and the ink. So let's just do that real quick, just to give it some atmosphere. You can see I'm just pressuring with my finger the ink. Flip it over there and see how that um, just gives it a little bit more atmosphere. I like that. Um, so I might do that a little bit more. There we go. All right. And here now is my mono print. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So. So after this dries, what you can do if you want to, um, you can go back into this with a pencil or colored pencils and color it. So that's a fun thing to do too. So this is um, oil. This is oil-based ink that's water soluble. So it will take about 24 hours to dry. And after you dry it, um, you can put a watercolor on it, or you could do um, colored markers or colored pencils. So. Uh, you could do another print of this. Let's just see what that happens. What happens with that? Um, so this would be called a ghost print, and I'm just going to take a thinner sheet of paper, the eight and a half by eleven copy paper, and put it right on top. And I'm going to take. I have this little doorknob that works really well for burnishing things in, and I'm just going to put pressure on this and see if I can't make a ghost print from the print I just pulled. So if you're going to do this, um, you can use a wooden spoon or a metal spoon, and you're just going to carefully make sure that you go back and forth and that you're inking up the whole sheet of paper, okay? So you, it's like a Zen thing. You just spend your time being really careful to make sure that you're getting all of the paper, all of the ink on the paper, and you're being consistent of rubbing that. take a peek to see what it looks like. Mm. I don't think it looks very good, but let's see if I can burnish it harder and see if we can get a ghost image of the print we just took. Maybe it's not going to work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you can get two prints out of one. Sometimes not. to see the images coming. Um, it's pretty inconsistent though. And do you see how these marks are inconsistent? So that's because I was going like this and not being careful. So um, yeah, this method's not the best trying to make a ghost, but you never know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this is called the trace monotype. And what you're doing is you're taking a plate that's inked up and you're putting your paper down here like this, 
And then you're taking your trace image, your image, it's either on a piece of tracing paper or it's on a piece of copy paper. Tape it down and then draw it out. And then what happens, that drawing transfers onto your paper like this. So you don't need a press and that's really cool. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to um, insert this into one of my pages of my book, The Ramayana. And I think that'll make like a nice um, contrast of the, the pages that are in the book already with this print. All right. So then the next thing you need to do is just um, take off the tape, off your plastic plate. And all you need to do is if you have a lot of ink on here, you want to scrape as much of it as you can off by um, using your knife, your palette knife like this. Just scrape it off as much as you can. And then you're just going to take it to the kitchen sink, put dish detergent on it, and then um, take a, an old sponge or a rag or a piece of paper towel and just with the dish detergent, massage it around on the plate, put it under hot water and it will all disappear, okay? And with this, the foil over here, um, because it's foil, is all you have to do is, I'm gonna clean off my palette knife. And you're just going to roll it up and put it in the trash. So it's pretty easy cleanup, pretty nice. All right. And the last thing I wanna say to you is that the roller right here what you want to do with the roller is you first want to roll off on a scrap piece of paper all the extra ink. Let me pull this up. Okay, so this is just going in the sink, dish detergent, hot water, wash it away. The roller, the extra piece of paper, you're just going to try to roll as much ink off from the roller onto the paper. And you can use scrap old paper to do this. All right, and then when it gets light enough um, on the paper, you can just take a piece of paper towel and then wipe it off like this. And you want to make sure you clean it off really well because we will be doing more prints throughout the semester. So just to let you know, um, you are supposed to submit four different prints by Tuesday. And so you have the weekend to work on this, getting this print done. And um, it doesn't have to be as intricate as this. Like this is really intricate because I know I want to, what I want to do. Um, but in class on Wednesday, the students, their first two prints turned out really inky, but they can still submit them. And some of them just like, did, you know, like outlined images of, of a house and flowers, just really simplistic imagery. So um, that's fine. I just want you to do this process and to make four different prints. And, you know, the prints can be really graphic, like for example, I think that um, Sam did something like, give me one second, I want to get a marker. I think Sam just did something like, um, he did something really cute, like a little cottage. He did something very, very simple, but very cute and like a tree. So this was like one of his prints. And you can see this is like super simplistic. But still, the idea is that you're learning a new process and you're exploring different mark making. And yeah, so that he submitted this as one of his prints, you know, a, a drawing as simple as this. So, okay. And then uh, 
again, the last thing with the roller is you want to take a piece of paper and a little bit of vegetable oil or olive oil or whatever kind of cooking oil you have. And with the paper towel, towel, just dab it into the oil. And then take off the um, rest of the ink with the oil. Like this. And it should come off pretty easily. And then the very last thing with the roller, what you want to do, take off that excess oil, is just with a warm, wet piece of paper towel and soap on it, just wipe it off one last time. And there's your roller all ready for you to use the next time we go. Okay, so that is it. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I just want you to explore um, different mark making and mark making, you know, you, you can just do circles, you can do whatever kind of marks you like to make. You can do cross hatching. Cross hatching is when you go like this. Or you could do stipple, which is little dots. The closer the dots are together, the more dense and dark the area is, and the further the dots get out, the lighter it looks. So there's all kinds of mark making that you can do. That's fun. And that's the demo. If you have any questions, let me know and I can try to help you as best I can. All right, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.